everyone, welcome back to 50 Something Budgets. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. Um, we've been off with half term this week, um, at least I've been off all week with my son, my husband's been off the first three days and we've had some nice family times, we've been the cinema and best of all we were inside our budget for that. Okay, um, so I will be going through my final week of October budget with you in a couple of days um, but today I am going to share with you um, our budget for November. So this is my November budget with me, um, which is a bit different this week, uh, or rather this month. Um, and I'll show you why in a second. So I'm just going to move my camper out of the way so I can get the calendar in. Oops. And we can have a look and see what's happening this month. Okay. Hope you can see that. All right. So November starts for us on Friday, on the 28th, and we run our budget Friday to Thursday each week. And because of when uh, my husband gets paid, this week, this month, November, is going to be a five-week month for us. So our first week is on the 28th, then the Friday the 4th, Friday the 11th, Friday the 18th, and then Friday the 25th. Um, and because my husband is paid on the 28th, we don't start our next budget until Friday the 2nd of December. Okay, must move that a bit further. Push that up a bit so you can see the bottom. Yeah, so it's a five week month. There are five Fridays um, between when we get paid at the end of October and when we get paid in November. Okay, so a um, few different things happening this week. Um, so as I say, we're paid on Friday and you can see I've written here various spends that are gonna happen. Uh, so on the Friday, my husband gets paid. My son and I are still off for half term. And we're going to go to Costa um, for a hot chocolate. So it's a bit of a bribe because uh, I want him to come into town with me. And we're going to do like a B&M and a, an Aldi shop. <laughs> so a <laughs> bit of a bribe there. Um, but it is budgeted for. So that'll be a nice little treat for us. Um, on Saturday, the 29th, we're going to go to Costco. Um, and we're also going to go to the range. So the Costco... Um, we will have some money to spend there um, and range. We need one of those, um, a new gas cartridge from my husband's soda stream. Um, and there's also a Sports Direct next to the range and my son is desperate for some new clothes. So I think it's going to be a bit of a spendy weekend, this first weekend of the month. And then we've got a meal with family. Um, so my brother is um, just about to start radiotherapy, he had chemo earlier in the year doing really really well on it so um, him and his wife and my mum and stepdad and us are going to go for a meal on Friday uh, on Sunday sorry we're going for Sunday lunch at this really lovely carvery near my mum um, I'm not sure if my sister's coming actually I'll, uh, I probably won't know until I turn up whether my sister and her husband are coming as well okay um, and then on the Monday the 30th I'm paid um, and then nothing else happening that week until the Friday which is the start of week two of the budget we're away for the weekend so we're away Friday night Saturday night and potentially Sunday night but this um, resort going to it's only an hour away so we think we'll probably come home on the Sunday night and then my son's not missing Monday off school um, and what I'm planning to do in that week is I'm not going to do a weekly shop so I'm gonna have enough really to last us um, this weekend out of our first week's budget. Um, and then I'm just gonna make it work until we get our next week, week three starts on the 11th. So a bit of a, a challenge there for me. Um, we will be eating out a lot that weekend. I think we're gonna have Sunday lunch on the Sunday. We'll probably eat at the, on the, um, at the place on the Saturday night. We'll probably have lunch out. So there's not gonna be um, a huge lot of food needed for that and I just make sure out of the £80 that I've got in week one I've got enough for milk and bread and you know bits like that okay um, so my husband and I are off on the Friday um, and then we have got the Monday off as well which is the, the Monday of week two and that's where my child benefit comes in as well nothing else planned that week um, and then when week three starts, me and my husband have both got our hair appointments on the 12th. Um, and that's the only thing that's happening that week. 
Um, week four starts on the 18th, runs till the 24th. Absolutely nothing planned at all in that week. It's going to be very quiet. Um, and then nothing planned at the moment for the last week either. So it all seems to be at the beginning of the month. Um, so the last week, week five, starts on the 25th of November and runs until the 1st of December. So by then, we'll both have been paid. So my husband gets paid on the Monday the 28th and then I get paid on the last day, which is the 30th. And then when your budget starts on the 2nd of, on the 2nd of December. Yeah. So I have set a few goals for this month, which are up here. Okay. So I'd like to fill 15 envelopes on our 50 envelope challenge. So this is a challenge that I am restarting for November. Um, so hopefully I will have finished my uh, 26 week challenge at the end of October, um, which is two months early. And then I'm going to move on to the 50 envelope challenge, which I want to get as much possible in that as I can by December. Uh, so it's £1,275. I've got 240 two in there I think or is it 43 one or the other um and I want to at least get to a thousand pound but I don't think I'll get the full amount realistically um but 15 envelopes not all the little ones some big ones as well um we really need to focus on staying within our food and Costco budgets because our work our money's doing a lot of different jobs for us this month um and if I go off um pieced with my food budget, like I did in the first week of October, it's basically going to screw all our plans up for November and going forward. Um, we're actually going to do, um, once I finish this video, a bit of a um, recce in Costco. So we haven't actually been to Costco for a while. Uh, we always go for fuel, but we haven't actually gone in and done um, a lot of food shopping for a while because we haven't had the money, really. Um, so we're just going to go and do a recce so that we know exactly what we're buying. There's no impulses and we will stay within budget. So you might think it's a it's a waste of time, but um, we think that's going to help us stay in budget. I want to increase my buffer at the end of the month to £100. I want £100 actually in the bank as a buffer rather than not being much in the bank and me having some cash on hand. I want it in the bank. Um, and that's just, it's about cash flow really. Sometimes the money's in the wrong place. Um, so that's what I want and then we've got Operation Money Pit um, which there is a video coming on shortly about um, Operation Money Pit which is how we can do all of the uh, repair and maintenance jobs on our house for minimum expenditure so um, I want to finish the jobs in the kitchen the living room the dining room and then we've got some trees that are, need to be trimmed um, which are very close to some um, electric cables in front of our house. So, I mean, there's probably a couple of foot, really, but they are quite quick growing. Um, we did have those shaped and trimmed a couple of years ago, and they need doing again. Um, and we've actually got someone coming out next week to do that, um, and a much more reasonable price than I expected. So... That's why I've added trees on the bottom of there. So that are, those are my challenges. They are my goals for November. Okay, so let me take you through the budget. Okay, so can you see the figures on there clearly? I'm just going to check whether you can. Might just bring you in a little bit. So just prepare for the wobble as I move this um, thing in a bit there. Okay. So this is week one of November and this goes from Friday the 28th of October until Thursday the 3rd of November. Okay, so it's a bit of a different month for us this month. So my husband worked his absolute little butt off um, July, August, September and has earned a big bonus. So our joint income, which will be coming in this week, uh, is £7,157. So that's my basic income. And my husband's basic income plus this quarterly bonus he's earned. It's the biggest bonus he's earned to date, really. Um, and the biggest one he's earned since he's worked at this company. And he was a tiny bit off um, earning, going into the next band as well. So he's done really, really well. Um, so it does mean that we have quite a bit of money to play with um, this month. 
So we've got our mortgage, council tax, water rates, two life insurances, TV license, pet insurance, uh, vet plan, um, octopus direct debit, minus the um, chunk off we're all getting, Apple Music and our debt management plan all coming off at the beginning um, of the month. That comes to a total of £2,680. So if I take the £2,680 from 7157, I'm left with £4,477. Um, so I have reduced our food budget down to £80 a week. Um, we were coming in around 100 and 120 but I've reduced it and that is so I can use some of the money from each week towards the um, budget I've got for Costco um, because if I've bought meat and things at Costco then I'm not going to need to buy meat this month at all so I have reduced that. Household is getting £20 and that is actually for the month rather from the week because the £50 that I would normally have put towards um, household I'm putting £30 into the Costco pot uh, because I need a lot of items from house, um, household items from Costco like laundry liquid, dishwasher tablets, toilet roll, tissues, all of that stuff. But I also need some like unstoppables and I need some bleach and I need some dishmatic heads and things which I'll need to get maybe at B&M so that's why I've left a bit in there. Toiletries is just getting a fiver a week. Fuel is getting £80 a week. Family Fun is getting £20 a week, but I have put £60 of it into week one, which will pay for um, a meal and a dessert for each of us and a soft drink at the pub when we go for that meal on Sunday. £5 into miscellaneous, which has been reduced from £10 a week. £5 into school, which is just for bus fare, because if you remember, I made a bit of a boob and I paid for, his, um, I paid for two lots of school meals the week before half term, so I don't need to pay it in November, this first week of November. And then my son gets his £10 pocket money. So £265 in variable expenses, deducted from what I had available, the 4477 brings me down to 4212 Okay, so I'm going to pay myself first, and I'm going to put the majority, um, I'm going to use the bonus in this first week, so it gets allocated to where it needs to go. Okay, so we have thought long and hard about what we're going to do with it. Um, we've also discussed it as we've gone through the last few weeks about where, what our priorities are, where are we going to spend this money, um, and also we've just sat this morning and gone through the budget together. Does anyone else do that? Go through their actual budget sheets with their husband or partner Um I, uh, we do it now and again, we don't always do it, um, but because this was such a big month, it's a five week month, and I wanted to be really clear with my husband that, these, that, that this is the budget, and we can only do these like big chunks to sinking funds and things, because we stick to this budget. So everything was happy, we're happy with everything, nothing was changed, because um, I've just tweaked it every time we've had a discussion, I've gone through and tweaked it. So, First item on here is spending plus extra. So my husband and I normally get £20 a week each for all of our spending money. And then we're also getting £100 extra each as part of this bonus. So that's why it says £400. Okay, so it would normally be £20 a week each, five weeks in November, £100, £100 extra. Okay. Now I always... I, when we, when we had sort of financial difficulties before, we did have a very, very small personal spending budget. Um, and I found that giving my husband his personal money has worked fantastically for us these last few months. Um, because I, he went and bought a game on Saturday, a second-hand PlayStation game, and he used his own money for that. Whereas before, if he didn't have that personal spending money, it would have come out of our budget, and then I would have get, got fed up because it would have kind of derailed my plans or or changed what I thought there was or money wouldn't have been available so that it, it was worked really really well and I know it's a very generous budget 20 pound a week each but what I find with my husband is he is more likely to to use his spending money to fund things so if he wants like some extra beer one week then he pays for it 
he's signed up to, to eight weeks at the, the gym um, where he's been before, he's paid for that himself. Otherwise, I would have been trying to find that money out of my budget. Um, I just tend to put mine into the penny savings challenge and buy things from Etsy. Um, I did buy a dress from Tesco's for my work do the other week, but it was 15 quid. Um, so, yeah, mine's just turning to build up at the moment. Uh, I do have a couple of ideas, actually, um, which I'm going to ask you about later. So, Weekend Away um, is the weekend we've got coming up. That is £350, so that is a generous spending budget. And it's also our dog's boarding and he's getting a groom as well. Um, we were just out with the dog earlier and I, I, we said we don't actually think we're going to spend £250 on that weekend away. Um, so we'll probably come back with some of that. And then you know, my husband said, so what happens with if we come back with it? And I said, well, it gets allocated to another pot. We decide where we're going to put it. So I think it might go into Christmas. And where I've put a green tick on these sinking funds... That means that that money that I'm putting in this month will mean that that sinking fund is completed. So this weekend away is a one-off, so um, that is completed. Um, we're putting £200 in Christmas, £100 in hair and beauty, um, £200 in van maintenance because we've got the MOT for that due at the end of the month. Um, it's got a bit of an issue with the horn not working on the camper van. But the rest of it is in pretty good nick, so we're hoping we'll be under in that and there'll be some left in that pot. House maintenance is £200. So the guy's coming to trim these two trees at the front, which are probably 30 foot tall fir trees. Round, sort of a round shape, rather than, you know, like a big Christmas tree shape or a Leland DI or something like that. But we do have a, a, a probably 10 foot wide a uh, 10 foot tall Landy ice screen in the back garden that is going to be trimmed. He's also taken um, an old tree out for us which has just grown uh, too much and then he's going to trim some of the neighbour's trees which are coming over our garden. Um, so that's going to cost us £170 which is a lot less than we expected because he's only charged us 50 quid for all the work he's doing in the back. And then that will leave £30 um, left over towards some bits and pieces I need for the house. So I think I need some uh, paint brushes, I need some wood filler, I need some, need some clear sealant. Um, just do some of the rest of those uh, money pit jobs. Um, Costco, I'm putting 280 in. So that is some money from the bonus. It's some money from every week's food budget and from the household budget. And I've already got 20 quid in the pot. So I'll have a total of £300 to spend at Costco. And that's that done. That's how much I would spend in one go. Clothes, um, I'm, I've adjusted this to put £150 in. Now those clothes are for my son, um, who's having a bit of a growth spurt. He is about half an inch away from um, taking over me in height. Um, and he hasn't had a lot of clothes this year. So we're gonna get him a tracksuit, which is what he's asked for. He needs some new underpants, he could do with some pajamas even though he only ever wears the shorts bottoms. So if anybody knows where well, you can just buy pyjama shorts with no tops, he's probably in small adult size. Um, let me know, because it seems such a waste that the t-shirts never get worn. Um, he's always been a hot child, never feels a cold. Um, and then girls trip here is £300. Now, I used to go away with the girls every year. But for the last few years, I haven't gone because the dates that they've chosen to go for people's big birthdays has been around my son's birthday. So it's I wouldn't have gone away then. Um, but this year, they're doing it a month later. Um, so I'm able to go. Now, it was uh, my plan was that I would use my spending money. But my husband says that that's not right. I can use my spending money, uh, my pocket money, sorry, my, my spending up here. But I can use that to buy some clothes, you know, if I want to go get my nails done or something before I go get done. But the actual holiday should be paid for what we call the house. <laughs> um, so it's like your money, my money, the house, which is everything but our spending money. So I am going to have a flight to pay for shortly. The accommodation I've paid for, uh, the deposit for already, and then there's going to be this um, flight which needs to be paid for. So that's coming out of here. So all of those sinking funds added together come to £2,180. 
I mean, that's just like crazy, crazy money. Um, so if I deduct that from the 4212 we've got available, I'm left with £2,032. Okay, so I have changed this part of my um, the budget one, budget by paycheck worksheet, because this is extra debt, and I have debt. I know I have debt. I'm on a debt management plan, um, but I will not be paying extra debt payments to my debt for. In fact, I probably will be saving to pay, make full and finals or something like that, rather than in additional little payments. And I just just wanted that word removed um because so it's not causing me anxiety every time i look at this sheet when it says extra debt so i've changed it to top priorities so as you'll see through every page on here i have got a top priority category okay so um and that will be saving so at the moment it's my emergency fund and then it will be um car fund which i will um explain later on um so 500 pounds is going into the emergency fund um it would have been more but we have these other priorities um and then those are just my um usual penny savings and fiver savings uh you know my five friday and what i'm putting in the penny challenge and then i'm putting 60 pound into the 50 envelope challenge so budgeted extra savings are 60. Don't know what penny and five are going to be. So they're zeros because they come out of variable. Deduct that from 1532 I've got available and I'm left with 1472 to carry over into week two. So week one is a really, really busy week. We're paying ourselves first by paying everything to sinking funds, putting the money back in the emergency fund. Um, so it's a lot quieter for the next weeks. Okay, so week two runs from friday the 4th to monday the 10th um rolling over 1472 what we got our child benefit in this week so we've got a total of 1559 available two little bills out the cloud storage and netflix are 12 pound so if you deduct those from the total we've got 1547 variable expenses are going to be very similar every week 80 pound for food nothing for household because i put that 20 pound in last week for the rest of the month a five of toiletries, 80 for fuel, £10 each week for the rest of the month for family fun, £5 for miscellaneous and then £20 for school, which is bus fares and meals. So my variable expenses come to £200. And if I deduct that from the 1547 I've got available, I'm left with 1347. Okay, so sinking funds. So I am for the rest of the month really just going to be funding the normal sinking funds, the ones I do every month, which is £30 to hire on beauty is the £130 I budget for that, £40 to a pet and £60 for the camper vans, tax insurance and recovery. So that's £130 to sinking funds, deduct that from the 1347, leaves me 1217 Now I'm not putting anything into top priorities um, this week now what you could say really is the 50 envelope challenge that i've got down here is my top priority because um what i'm aiming to do if you've if you've heard me mention in my videos before i think it was when i was talking about sinking funds and savings challenges my goal is to have saved two thousand pound by the end of the year so it really is a top priority so my top priority is extra savings i've just listed them down here as i normally do so I've got nothing to penny and fiver as yet because it comes from variable and £50 this week into a 50 envelope. Um, so I've deduct that from what I have. I'm left with 1167 to roll over into week three. Okay, so there we are. 1167 at the top. I've only got that penny coming off um, for my mobile this week. So I just carry down that 1167 because I just round these figures. Um, the same £200 for variable expenses, nothing's changing here. Um, and that, So take that off and that leaves me 967 And then I'm going to put £30 into home insurance, which is the set amount he gets every month. £30 into my son's birthday, again, the set amount he gets every month. So that's £60 from the 967 leaves me 907 The top priority is my extra savings. And this week... The 50 envelope challenge is getting £60. So if I deduct the 60 from the 907, 
I'm left with eight, four, seven to roll over into week four. I've got a feeling this video is going to be long, so please do feel free to uh, fast forward. Okay, so we've rolled forward 847, no other income expected, and then I've just got Virgin Media going out for the broadband and whatnot, and another cloud storage. So that's £37 from the total, leaves me 810. And again, the same £200 variable expenses there. Okay, so 200 from the 810 leaves me 610, and then I'm putting £20 into medical sinking fund, which covers prescriptions, dentist, those kind of things, and £10 into gifts, because I have a target that by the end of December, I will have £100 in my medical sinking fund and £75 in gifts. Um, so I do want to be 150 in gifts, but I'm splitting it into two halves, because um, the rest of it's not due until June. So £30 sinking funds from the 610 is 580 uh, and then my top priority is my extra savings again. So I'm only putting £30 in this week into the 50 envelope challenge. So the 30 from the 580 I've got available leaves me 550 to roll over into the last week of November. Okay, so 550 rolled over. Two bills coming out. So there's my husband and son's mobile phone bill and the... Um, £20 that goes towards buying my husband's phone. £11 for National Trust. Now, National Trust, I'm still not sure what's going on with that because they kept getting the direct debit wrong. And I've put it into my October budget that they were going to bring out, pull out £67 in one go. But that's six months payments, not five months payments. And I've got this sneaky suspicion that it's actually going to come out in November not in December, not in October. So I would be paying 67 in November and then I would be paying 11 pound from December. Um, it was actually due in May. Well, I think it was due at the beginning of June, my National Trust membership. And it's just, I changed it from paying it annually because things were tight to paying it monthly. It doesn't cost you anything different. And um, they've just never managed to get it set up right. But we'll, we're taking it as the 11 on this budget. It'll all come out in the wash. Um, so £86 in bills from the 550 leaves me 464 And again, I'm allocating £20. This, uh, £20, that would be good, wouldn't it? £200 to variable expenses for this week. Um, so £200 from the 464 leaves me 264 um, If you remember in week... Where were we? Week 2... Um, I allocated the £200 variable, but that's the week that I am doing the um, missing a week shopping. So there's a good chance that there will be um, some left over that week. So if I do need to cover um, the National Trust payment, then I should have that money available. If not, I just put less into 50 envelopes, put less into sinking funds. Because uh, who knows what's going to happen over the next five weeks. Um, you know, we can only plan for... <laughs> What we know is going to happen. Those unknown unknowns we haven't got a clue about. Um, so £200 for variable leaves me 264 And then I'm going to put the last £20 in medical, which means that £100 budget's been achieved. The last £10 in gifts, which means I've hit that £75. And then I'm putting £50 in Christmas. Now, I actually have put a green tick by there. And I think it's £100 I need for Christmas. Um, in fact, it is £100. So... Uh, we'll ignore the green tick on there because um, I do still need another £50. That will, £50 will get me to 950 and my target's 1000 So £80 for sinking funds um, from the 264 I've got available leaves me 184 Um Extra savings are my top priority. Um, so I'm putting £80 into 50 envelope challenge and that will leave me 104 And there's a green tick next to that one because £104 or £100 is the new uh, bank buffer that I have set myself. Okay, so a um, bit of a different month. It is a five-week month. Um, also, we have that massive bonus that my husband has earned. 
um, which is enabling us to to fund these sinking funds and other priorities, um, which we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Um, now, you may have think, well, should you not be paying that off your debt? Um, but we spoke to this step change as part of our conversations before we took our debt management plan and their understanding and the way they say it is um, any overtime that you work any bonuses are not including part of your payment plan your creditors prefer to receive a regular amount um, every month so you can choose to pay some of that off you can keep it you can build your emergency fund so um, that's what they were saying to us was the thing that we needed to do okay um and then the other thing that they were said what was the other thing oh yes um my company car um plans are changing so come january or in the beginning of february my company car is going to go back to the lease company and my company are going to provide me with a cash allowance to buy a car instead now the great news is that means i don't pay company car tax it also means that um, I, and th their policy is I can have any car as long as it's road worthy, which is great. Um, we did see a car last week um, that we looked into um, and we thought, well, we could get it in advance um, and keep it. Um, but we didn't get the finance. Um, and in hindsight, it was such a relief that we didn't get the finance. Um, it wasn't a very expensive car. It was a, it was about a seven, seven, eight year old car. Um, but my God, I've never been so anxious about getting that finance and adding to our debt. Um, step change, say that if you need finance for a car, it's fine. Um, even if you, someone else has to fund that car for you, um, then that's all, all right. And you, you know, they include it and they do the new plan. They even offered to... Um, let me miss a month's payment, debt management payment, to cover the insurance and everything. Um, so one of my big goals for next year is going to be saving up for a car. So where I've got that top priority on here, it's going to be saving up for a car. Um, so we are using the bonus this month, which was my long convoluted way of saying, because we've got that bonus, this is why we're putting it into sinking funds and to pay for other things, is because we potentially we'll get a bonus at the end of January, probably won't be that big, um, and that will need to go on the car. So other things that we need to pay for, and just emergency funds and things need to be covered with what we've got available in the minute. Okay, goodness me, this is gonna be a long video as well, isn't it? Now, the question I said to, I had for you before was around how I was gonna use my spending money. Now, I really fancy getting a laminator. So I have some ideas for some little A6 challenges that I would like to make. Some of them are the ones that I did last year that I would like to do this year. And it's really only for my personal use. A, I'd like to make maybe a couple of different envelopes. Um, so do you have any recommendations for a laminator or are they all the same? I just need it to do kind of A4 and A6. Um, so if you have any recommendations, if you use one yourself, then please do let me know. Um, in the comments if you have any questions or uh, any comment about our budget then also please do leave them um, in the comments below um, so I know our budget is a little bit different I know we have had we've received a huge amount of income this month um, and I share that not to be to be boastful or what have you but really just it's for transparency um, I find I get so much more benefit from budgets where people share their incomes and expenditures even though we're all different um then you know just talk to me about sinking funds and things because it's kind of well it's you know you might have hundreds and hundreds of pounds available or you might have a small budget but it just makes more sense I think to me to, to understand that whole process but I still enjoy watching videos where people are cash stuff stuffing envelopes and, and sinking funds and cash stuffing and what have you regardless of whether they've shared their own budget Okay, so um, I shall finish this uh, video before it goes on forever and ends up an epic. Um, so do take care. I will be back with a short video, hopefully, about our uh, Operation Money Pit. And then I'm going to do two cash stuffings for week one of November. I'm going to cash stuff 
our variable expenses, um, our savings challenges and our spending money. And then I'm gonna do a second one, which is cash stuffing for the sinking funds. Um, just to make, just for clarity, really. And because I can't get all the money out of the bank at the same time. The joys of having an internet only account. Okay, so do take care. Um, if you got to the end of this video, you're a superstar. Uh, please do give it a like um, and I shall speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.